my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. Today we're going to take a look at a new app um, from Microsoft called Seeing AI. Um, and it's a great app, so let's take a look. So uh, Seeing AI, uh, this is the icon right up here. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And it does a variety of different things for you. It really kind of condenses what several apps used to do for you all into one. And so we're going to take a look at that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And the first option, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit. Crossroads. I'm going to hit pause real quick. Social media is. Go ahead, pause there real quick, um, because it'll jump in. The, the first thing that it does over here on the right hand side, you're going to notice it's got a bunch of different options um, and features. Uh, the first one is called short text, and what that does is anytime you put any kind of text behind your camera. Um, so that the iPad can see it, it'll automatically start reading it. And so that's why I had to pause it initially because it'll just jump in and start reading for us. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit play again to go ahead and have it read the card that I've positioned behind it. Crossroad, Crossroads, Laura Metcalf, Social Media Specia, Indida Assist I Technology 440. And so you can kind of see as soon as you put text behind there, um, it's going to go ahead and start reading it. Um, the next option is document, um, and this kind of is a little bit like uh, KNFB Reader, if you will, if, you've, if you're familiar with that app. Um, but if I document. click on document, um, what I can do is I can just click the screen. I'll go ahead and take a picture. Processing. It's going to go ahead and process it for us. Bring up the information, and then I can use the speak screen option, which is two fingers down. Laura Metcalf, social media specialist. In auto assistive technology, 4,740, Kinos Wave Drive. And so it does a pretty good job of going ahead and scanning, doing some OCR, uh, and then allowing us to be able to read that text as well. I'm going to kind of open that up, shut it down, kind of come back into that app here a second, and I'll show you some of the other features here. Um, the other one it has, it has a product identifier. Oops, I'm going to pause it. It's going to jump in there on us. Um, it has a product identifier, so you can um, scan barcodes in the grocery store, other places to be able to recognize that. Um, it has another icon up here for person. Um, that's to help people who are blind or visually impaired kind of get a picture of maybe what's in the room with you. So as you kind of scan your device around the room, it's going to pick up on faces and maybe not just that there are folks in the room, but how far away they are from you um, is kind of what that's designed for. And then they have this scene. Scene beta. Scene beta allows you to, again, take another picture. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and tilt my iPad up to take a look at a clock on the wall, um, if I can. Uh, and so then we're going to hit, well, that's kind of hard to do. Um, we're just going to go ahead and leave it here positioned over top of the card. We'll go ahead and hit your camera button. Processing. What that does is it sends it out a book on a table. and it's going to go ahead and try to make a guess using artificial intelligence. That's the part of the seeing AI to be able to recognize what's in front of it. So it's not like some of the other apps that you've seen like tap tap see and be my eyes where there are actually folks out there who receive your picture and try to interpret what you're looking at. This uses artificial intelligence to be able to give you uh, an answer about what you're looking at. So obviously I'm looking at a business card. Um, if a person was looking at it, they probably would be able to give you um, a better explanation. This one said probably a book on a table. Um, but again, it's kind of pulling in a lot of apps that um, for one reason or another um, did separate types of options um, and it kind of pulls it all into one. And I've, we've had a lot of folks who are very interested in this app um, and it's very, very good. So that's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.